guys uh, in this third and I believe uh, last video about the R module uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna show uh, basically uh, the final reason why I, I assembled the things the way I did in the, in the previous videos and what I'm gonna want to talk about is uh, you know how to reuse uh, the solvers that we made in the last couple of videos like the solver IK and uh, K hand before jumping into it, this is where we left last time. I need to make a correction, and this is something like uh, speaking with with Epic. I uh, clarified. I'm sorry, but there is there is one thing I've done in the in the last video was I said I specifically said because the function is not returning anything, I'm not plugging in the return node. Well, I was wrong in not doing so. The system would work, but um, it forced me to use a lot of sequence nodes in order to get the proper order of operation. And the reason was uh, that uh, I didn't plug in returns for function. I thought didn't need any return. So basically, always add you know a return function. You can see that I simply added. This is exactly the same setup, but at the very end, I'm appending a return to the end of the sequence. So that's let's get that out of the way. It's something I didn't know and I learned along the way. Okay, so we saw this this thing, uh, this module. This module is FK and then we can jump into uh, IK mode and it switches and everything should still work. There we go. Okay, but what if what how i'm going to reuse this graph and reuse the functionalities all over the place so what i've done in, in if i jump in maya the the what i have done here is basically i took this is the, our original arm i duplicate this hierarchy and i called and i moved it down make it a little bit tinier and I called instead of this being underscore L underscore, this is underscore all L B underscore as for bottom. And and the same goes for the right side and right side bottom. Okay. So let's see if we are if we are able to reuse what we did in order to mirror. But the reason why I'm not simply mirroring is because I don't want you guys to get confused by the functionality that uh, Control rig gives you, which is awesome, which is the mirroring of the controls. That's why I made it the mirrored version, but also on the same side, but just lower. Imagine that your 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 character has more than uh, one arm per side. So that's why we have four. Um, we are going to use the mirror function, but mostly by leveraging the the fact that you can rename things while you're mirroring them. We'll see about. That. So please don't get confused by the fact that I'm mirroring controls by simply using the mirror function of, a, of control rig, uh, it, we, we can do much more than that. So I export, let's do, I deleted the geometry for some reason. Uh, there we go. So let me export that. Uh, this is gonna be arms, instead of arm. And inside here, let me get uh, arms. This is pointing to the right file. And now I should be able to change this to arms. There we go. So this is the, the graph and this should still work, if I'm not mistaken. Great. How do I propagate the setup and reuse the setup that I've just made without snapping anything but on the arm below? Well, the first thing I want to do is basically uh, mirroring these controls. So the way I, and by, well, duplicating these controls, but I am actually gonna use the mirror function. But as I said, I'm not, I don't really care that the mirror function will mirror my controls. I mostly care about that, the fact that the mirror function, let me do it here, can replace the names, okay? So instead of all, L, I'm going to change L with L underscore B, okay? So let's see what this does. 
you can see that the function is actually mirrored. But these controls, I want them to be underneath here. The mirror function does that for you to help you out. But remember, because of the setup event, I don't really care where these controls are because I will place them procedurally. So let's see if the mirror function did work. I don't need the IKFT switch. I'm going to use the same one. Let's see. My controls are here. Is it miss Am I missing something? IK pull vector E. Yes, I'm definitely missing something. This for some reason stays under there. So I have my shoulder, my IK, my pull vector, and then yeah, for some reason everything that was under the space stayed under the space, which is fair enough. So the the left side I want them to be under this space, okay? So it's a it's a actual mirror. Let's see if we have everything. So we have hand hand. Upper arm, upper arm, pull vector, pull vector, shoulder, shoulder, space, space. The IKFK case, which I don't, I don't really care about switching it. Well, actually, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's call this um, LB. So at this very moment, I only have controls here. I have done nothing to the graph, so these are just controls. They do absolutely nothing. Okay. So, but here's 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 the thing. Let me duplicate this node and connect this, this node in between. And let me do the same thing for the hand. So at this very moment, these two things are running twice. So this is taking care of this, of this arm here. And this, and this is taking care of these controls here. Same goes for the hand and the hand, right? But both these nodes are identical now, which means they only operate on the original arms of series of controls. Let's see. Let's <laughs> let's have a look here what's happening. Because what I expect to happen is that these controls slowly get in place. So it's I think it's going to start looking weird at the, at the very beginning. If I start changing this stuff, I'm hoping this is going to work. So let's see that everything falls into place. One nice way would be to have these names procedurally generated so you can only have to change underscore L and underscore uh, LB. So let's, let's move to the, to this. You can see that right now the controls are black and the reason why they're black is because I haven't plugged in yet the color in the forward. Remember, this is just a setup event. In the forward solve is where we specify the color. Okay, let's try to speed this up. Okay. So, but you can see that slowly, I'm very happy that, oops, I made a mistake here. And this is basically the reasoning behind me creating uh, that that network that I've shown in the previous videos. So is everything okay here? Let's see what happens when I compile. Everything pops into place. Cool. Let's do the same thing. Let's take these these two nodes, duplicate them. I don't want to fill the name again. And this is the other reason why I implemented the setup switch within the node because right now I can simply toggle the set setup but the names are already there and now let me connect this portion of the graph and this portion of the graph and the last thing we need to do is get the hands color and the FK color. And then we connect the switch. So hopefully you can see that now I have completely duplicated a complex setup without 
too much pain. And I can, I think what, what is going to happen is I, if I KF scale switch, both will change. So you, you can, this is where I, I duplicate. You can duplicate this one and put it here so you can have independent switching, of course. Let's try one more time to check if the mirroring works. So let's take all of this stuff here. I think this is everything. And let's say mirror once again. Again, I'm not using mirror because I'm mirroring them, but because of this replacing thing. So if I do, uh, no, if I do L with R, let's see what happens. Oh, wow, I'm mirroring them in, okay. I thought I mirrored them in pose. Um, so again, I think I need to do some, some FK needs to go underneath here and then everything that is under here has been it, it stayed underneath the control space but it has been renamed so pinky everything that is R is to stay under R space <clears throat> And let me get rid of this additional stuff I'm not using. Yeah, these two things are not, I'm not using them. Come on. Okay. Let's compile. And now let's see if this the system still works. So I'm going to take this node here. and start substituting these names. So I haven't tried this. So I'm really hoping that this works. So this <laughs> could be a live fail. And we are in switch mode. Perfect. I haven't connected the node yet. I don't want to have to recompute it each time. Uh, this one, this one. There, there might be a way to quickly query this node and, and rename all, all the letters inside here. I think I saw it, but maybe it's just with the, with the nodes that come directly with the engine, not with the custom nodes that we made in the last couple of videos. So let's try that. Almost there. Let's connect this to that. And let's connect this here, this here. <clears throat> now what I need to do is take these two nodes because I already filled up the, the names, duplicating them, remove the setup, tick, and the setup tick, tick. And let's connect that. And let's connect that. And let's get the colors. And let's get this color. 
as well. <clears throat> And then the switch and compile. Something is wrong. Let's see. No, actually popped into place. I don't know when this happened. My I didn't catch that. So it's compiling, but you can see now that the full setup has been mirrored and it works.